Yes, students. Jai Swaminarayan. Welcome to our final lecture of Chapter Seven. Long, long time, students. We have come across this chapter. At least you can say, students, we have been doing this chapter since last forty days. So now. Towards the continuation of the chapter, and we are going to start from question thirty-six and question thirty-seven. Okay, students. Exercise seven. I am writing question thirty-six. I is equal to integral minus one to one. X leads to seventeen into. Cos of x is to four dx is to prove this as zero. Okay, and some number thirty-seven also. I am writing i is equal to integral zero to i by two. Sine q x dx this is equal to prove students as two by three. Okay, now I wish all of you pay attention. Students, so this is our function f x whenever limits are from minus a to plus a. We consider even or property. So here f x is equal to x is to seventeen. Into cos x raised to four, replacing x by minus x f uh, f of sorry f of minus x will be minus x raised to seventeen into cos of minus x raised to four. So this is minus of x raised to seventeen cos x raised to four. This is f x. So minus f of x, therefore f is an odd function. So according to even odd property, the value of integral is zero. So this is MCQ, students. This is MCQ. It is basically on the basis of even odd properties now here this is sin cube x so i write this as 0 to pi by 2 sin square x is 1 minus cos square x and 1 sin x i separate out in dx now at this level all of you should understand that let's suppose t is equal to cos x so Minus dt will be sin x. Dx change the limits. When x is zero, it implies t is equal to cos zero, so one. When x is pi by two, it implies t is equal to cos pi by two, so zero. So the new limits are from one to zero. One minus t square into dt. When I Interchange the limits. The value is empty inverse, and this is one minus t square dt. So the answer is t minus t cube by three. And the limits are from zero to one for upper limit. One minus one by three for lower limit it is zero. So one minus one by three is nothing but two by. So this only we have to prove. Now let us do some number thirty-eight and thirty-nine. This all students are very easy as well as interesting sums. Oh. 
Okay, students, now I'm writing sum number 38 integral 0 to 5 by 4. I is equal to integral 0 to 5 by 4 twice 10 to x dx. And this students I have to prove 1 minus ln 2, 1 minus log 2. Now 2 is a constant which we transfer outside and 10 square x is written as x square x minus 1. And 1 tan x as it is dx. Here, we will not suppose, we will directly take it. Limits from 0 to 5 by 4, twice the limit from 0 to 5 by 4, 6 square x, 10 x dx, minus twice limit from 0 to 5 by 4, integration of 10x dx. Now, what is variability of 10x? 6 square x. So, fx is 20, f dash x, fx is 10x. Nothing means power is 1. So, this integral is 10 square x by 2 limits from 0 to 5 by 4. Integration 10x is log mod x limits from 0, 2, 5 by 4. Simplify. First, this 2 and 2 we cancel. So, 10, 5 by 4 is 1. 10, 0 is 0. Minus 2 and 2. Log of set 5 by 4. Set 5 by 4 is root 2. Minus 0 because set 0 is 1 and log 1 is 0. So this will be 1 minus 2 into 1 by 2 log 2. So final answer is 1 minus ln 2. So students, not all the sums are difficult. The only thing which we require is patience. Now question number 39 and 40 students. Question number 49 Integration 0 to 1 sin inverse x dx i is equal to integration 0 to 1 sin inverse x dx i a rule i comes first so u and 1 comes afterwards so b Inverse comes first and first operating indefinite 1 into sin inverse x dx will be x sin inverse x u as it is derivative I mean, sorry integration of 1 is x derivative of u is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square integration of 1 is x d x so x sin inverse x, this is written as 1 minus x square raised to minus 1 by 2 into minus 2 multiplying and dividing by minus 2. So here the integration is fx raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c and this is our capital f of x. I hope all of you understood, isn't it? Now, students pay attention. This two and two gets cancelled. First of all, I am multiplying and dividing by two to get, and then two and two gets cancelled because one minus one by two is one by two. So, 
the value of integral according to fundamental principle of Jacobian integral is f of 1 minus f of 0. When I take 1, I will get 1 into sine inverse minus pi by 2. If I take here 1, this will be 1 minus 1, 0 plus c f of 0. So this becomes first term is 0, the second term is 1 plus c and minus c gets cancelled. So the answer is pi by 2 minus 1. Now students, some number 40 is a revision of definite integral as a limit of sum. So after a long, long time, students, at least I think a month, we are coming across the sum of definite integral as a limit of sum students exercise 78. I hope all of you have uh, remembered the basic formula. What is our function? So it's fx is equal to uh, okay, 0 to 1 e raised to 2 minus 3x. Some number for e integration is 0 to 1 e to the power 2 minus 3x dx. Students, please concentrate. Our you can say according to definition we have integral a to b fx dx is equal to we are writing students uh, I think we wrote h or b did not worry students we can get the answer in both the forms so we write h into uh, limit h into students limit n tends to infinity or we have written students even in terms of h tends to uh, 0 both the ways we can write if I am taking limit ok this is the exponential form so I am taking h tends to 0 h into bracket f of a f of a plus h f of a plus 2h up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h ok students I am considering the form of h that is why students are written in this way now all of you please concentrate so here our function is fx is equal to e to the power 2 minus 3x h is equal to b minus a upon n 1 by n and as n tends to infinity then students definitely h tends to 0 so the answer is 0 to 1 e to the power 3 minus 2 minus 3x dx is equal to limit h tends to 0, h into bracket f of a, so f of 0 f of a plus h, f of a plus 2h up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h ok, so this is limit h tends to 0, h into now f of 0 if I take here this if I take x as 0, it will be e square. f of h will be e to the power 2 minus 3h. f of twice h will be e to the power 2 minus i by plus x by 2h, this will be 6h. Up to e to the power 2 minus 3h into n minus 1. This is a decisive step of the entire sum. So here students you have to very well focus. Now this becomes a GP. And all of you know 
for GPSN is equal to A into R raised to N minus 1 upon R minus 1 where definitely R not equal to 1. So here A is E square common ratio R is E raised to minus 3H that all of you can easily understand. So, this becomes the main H tends to 0, H into A is E square, R is E to the power minus 3H, so this becomes E to the power minus 3NH minus 1 upon R minus 1. Students, check this. This is our main cup of T. There are n cups because the first one is E square, which is without any H. Now, from this, NH is equal to 1. From this, NH is equal to 1. So E square, E is to minus 3 minus 1. This term is an Constant is a constant, so taken outside e square into e raised to minus e minus 1. This edge we always leave in the denominator. Limit h tends to 0, 1, e raised to minus 3h minus 1 upon h multiply and dividing by minus 3 in the denominator. Now again, this formula limit. H tends to 0, A raised to H minus 1 upon H is equal to log ABZ. That formula is applied, so this will becomes 1. So the final answer is E inverse minus E square divided by minus. This minus T is a constant which shift outside. So the answer is 1 minus E cube upon minus 3e or e cube minus 1 upon thrice e. This should be students our final answer. Again, answers are written in many different form. I have uh, discussed with you students n number of times. You need not worry about the answers, but this answer is universal. So this answer is same. It is e cube minus 1 upon so this is a very thorough revision of, you can say, sums of definite integral as an element of a sum. So students mark again this question as a very important one. Mark this question students as a very important sum. And it is only important for subjective part. This will be never asked in MCQ. So be careful, students. We are on the verge of completing a very, very long chapter, students. I should say very, very long. 12 exercises. Now, students, we are going to take uh, four MCQs. Which are there. Okay, so I am taking MCQ 41 and 42 at a time. Integration of dx upon e raised to x plus e to the power minus x. Okay, sum number 42, integral of cos of 2x upon sin x plus cos x the whole square dx. Okay, I am doing students two to sums at a time. Now, all of you please concentrate. Here, we simplify and write this as integration dx upon e raised to x plus 1 by e raised to x plus much all of you can very very easily understand. 
stem. Now I'm taking E raised to X as a CN. So this becomes E raised to X dx upon E raised to X the whole square plus one. Now it is easy strikes, suppose T is equal to E raised to X. Let T is equal to E raised to X. So dt will be e raised to x dx therefore the value of integral will be dt upon d square plus d square so tan inverse t plus c so the answer is tan inverse of e raised to x plus c so this is the answer so according to the option the correct option is A. Yes, it is tan inverse of E is to X plus C. So, according to the option, the correct option is A. Because B has tan inverse of E to the power minus X. Okay, now students we are doing MCQ number 42 now I cannot get cos 2x as a daily for that I need sin 2x for that students we need sin 2x we can get that also but according to the answer I am writing this as cos square x minus sin square x upon cos x plus sin x the whole square dx I think this order of should is very easy we understand we know the formula of cos 2x now if I factor as numerator the plus term gets cancelled so this will change to cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x dx now if this is f it is f dash what is derivative of sin x plus cos x it is cos x minus sin x so f dash upon f so the answer is log mod f x plus c this is our answer and According to option, it goes with option B. So, students, option B is our answer. Question 43 has been asked in the JWT examination. Students, MCQ 43 and 44 both are very important MCQ so we go students at ease students here we go at ease mark question 43 as very important students so I is equal to integral A to B x into x into fx dx where f of a plus b minus x is given as fx this is given students we are not writing on our own this is students given now which property then I should say according to the property integral a to b fx dx is equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx this is always result 1 so wherever there is x we replace by a plus b minus x and this is f of a plus b minus x dx now be careful I am multiplying a plus b into this function 
and this is nothing but fx according to mu. We are given this relation which I am using. So this is nothing but integral a to b a plus b into fx minus x fx simple expansion. This step is again the distance step for the entire sum. Now, students, what I am doing, I am applying subtraction working rule. Therefore, I is equal to a plus b as a constant. So, outside integral a to b, fx dx, and the second part is i. So, twice i is equal to a plus b integration a to b fx dx so i is equal to a plus b by 2 integration a to b fx dx is our answer and the option for the answer is so this the option for the answer is option B. So this is a long sum of three marks. Again, very important sum students, very, very important sum. The two hidden information, f of a plus b minus x is fx. And we have to apply its property to its property that integral a to b fx dx is equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx that property students we have applied last and the final mcq of our chapter students so this is long students very long but we have judiciously completed the chapter and it requires exhaustive Practice students integration is such a topic, it requires exhaustive practice. I is equal to integration 0 to 1, 10 inverse of 2x minus 1 upon 1 plus x minus x square dx. Okay, students, how to simplify this? This is written as 0 to 1, tan inverse of x plus x minus 1 upon 1 minus x into x minus 1 dx, tan inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y. So this becomes tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y trigo inversely functions are heart of this particular concept trigo and inversely function so now I am numbering this as result why not this ok so now according property 0 to a fx dx is equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx replace a dx by 1 minus x so i is equal to integration 0 to 1 and inverse of 1 minus x here if I replace x by 1 minus x, this becomes minus x minus minus plus because tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x. This can be written as integration 0 to 1 tan inverse x take a minus and common. So this becomes tan inverse of x minus 1. In this tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x. This is students. Or here only we could have added, isn't it? Ok, 
के जैन स्टूडेंट्स वी आर क्रिएटिंग द सेम Thank you.